guys got a video another video um about the uh the uh h150i elite lcd you guys see it in the back right there so when i first built my pc i had some issues with it for some reason uh when i'll start my pc um how can i say it? the fans will not light up the rgb will stay off there's a triangle thing there. The LCD will show a triangle like something's wrong. Um, I wouldn't hear anything. The other fans will turn on. Um, it was connected to the C the, the you know wiring that's with that L LCD thing. Let me show you guys. The little super thin one is connected to the CPU motherboard and nothing. Um, it came with a splitter. So it was you connect to a header 2.0 header. And it splits out, and you connect to to that splitter, and and the back has a commander, which is you know it's a box where you connect your fans to that, and then you can try everything a lot easier. Um, so I had issues the first two startups. The first startup it was getting high. I got to eighty nine Celsius, you know, and it obviously turns off a uh, safe mode, you know turns off and then uh second time i tried it again i mean i thought everything was fine i thought i would have to boot but got hot again excuse me so i did some more research on why is it not cooling the cpu or detecting it i mean people said that it's kind of faultier or or the screen so that's magnetic this front plate so you got you put it on there but half of that is magnetic so that disconnects and you still got the aio hooked up to the cpu plate so I made sure that's on good, especially I what this uh big cord it's like enough tension for it to like it's pulling up but it's still stuck on there, so that's good. Um the commander in the back that this big cord it runs to the commander. So you gotta look at the, the points where the commander connects. That's kinda like I don't know, it's kinda iffy, like weird, like it wouldn't connect right. Like, you really have to push it in there until like you hear it clicking. Um tried that try to uh, turn on because I can turn on the P I can hook up the so I mean hit the switch not without pressing the power yet and they'll tell me that something's wrong with the triangle um, and then the motherboard would tell me too it's right now saying 40 code 40 but that's nothing no big issue or nothing but I'll throw like different codes and all that which is cool about the motherboard when something's wrong you know you can look it up um, so what I did was I made sure that the screen, that LCD is pushed on right. Um, made sure that the CPU fan is connected. I mean, the wire is connected to the CPU fan. Um, I tried to connect to the AIO pump, which is down here in the corner, but that didn't do anything. Um, so I just kept it at CPU because, you know, most, mostly computers want to know about a CPU so they can cool the CPU. Um, so the one thing was check that, make sure it's on good. Two was the CPU wire is connected to i mean the wire for it's connected to the cpu fan sorry and then third was the commander is connected right with that in the back um make sure your power lines are connected the SATAs. um and then i did something else so that splitter that i was talking about i came with it you connect to the header and it splits out to connect two wires from that I got rid of it. Instead of splitting, I individually connected each one to a header on the motherboard. Let me show you guys. So, you guys see that one there? Let me zoom in. So, that's that's one of them. So, that, that one and then... So, let me just get my finger. So, the one on the left and the one on the right. So, those two are from from the uh, LCD, the, the AIO. So, those were connected to a splitter. The one was connected and then it split it out. But it's like I said, I decided to connect them both. I don't know if that splitter was bad or it's just too much power for one. I don't know. But yeah, I just went with it. And then another thing was before I started it, I hit the power switch instead of the on switch. I mean, I'm sorry, I hit the, well, I don't know what you want to call it. I hit the power supply switch up. And then I waited like at least a couple seconds or a minute for it to recognize. Obviously, yes, it's a problem issue. But then I hit the power button. And then now the screen loaded up saying the brand name and everything and the RGBs turned on and we were good now. So I went from there and I haven't had no issues. The only issues I have right now is trying to 
mess with the with the application on the computer on changing this because I changed it before. Let me show you guys. I changed it before. Uh, let me see. I'm on here. You know, all the settings and everything, especially the the screen. Like I got the Goku going on, guys. But I mean, I saved it too. I read what it says and everything is saved and it saves it. You know what you want on your PC, and then um, there it is. Look at, let it focus. The uh, Goku right there, guys. That's pretty dope. It's pretty clear too. Look, that's really clear. But like I said, and then if I were to close it, I don't know what happens. It's it stays there for a bit, and then like a couple seconds, it'll just turn back to the. St you see what I mean? I gotta figure out what's going on there, but. Yeah, that's what I did, guys. So leave a like or a comment. Um, if you guys had any other issues on what you guys did to fix it, um, especially on the program, let me know. Hope uh, this helps you guys because uh, it took me a minute. Uh, did some research. Um, other people have videos about some things you know that aren't right on it. It's still something new that came out, but. Subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment, and let me know what you guys uh, run into later.